uh, to, to to further um, clarify the, the, the larger import of your thinking, may I move away from television for a moment to the telephone? Yes. Now, one instance you used struck me as being a particularly interesting one. You talk about the telephone. You say it's an irresistible intruder. It's an intensely personal form that ignores all the claims of visual privacy prized by a literate man. Oh. And you use this extraordinary instance of the uh, the madman, Howard Unrah, in Camden, New Jersey, who's killing 13 people and then returns home. Uh, the emergency crews call, uh, and at one point, an editor calls. Uh, Unrah stops firing at the people and answers, hello. This Howard? Yes. Why are you killing people? I don't know. I can't answer that yet. I'll have to talk to you later. I'm too busy now. Um... Would you comment further on this instance? Well, it uh, may be uh, slightly misleading in a view of the state of mind of this uh, unhappy man, but you can see that he was caught up in the process of crime in a fascinating way, and uh, this concern with the process is peculiar to our time. He had no point of view on crime, but he was fascinated by involvement in the process. The reporting of this process is what is called happenings in our society today. But the telephone, you see, has, uh, has this mysterious property that while using it, it's very difficult to visualize anybody. And, uh, by, and by con uh, on the contrary, it, is also, uh, it also creates the idea that you are securely alone and isolated. But the absence of this uh, visual completion. For example, when listening to radio, you have a visual image all the time. It's no, there's no difficulty in visualizing the announcers, the people in the programs on radio. It's very difficult to visualize the person to whom you're speaking on telephone. Uh, I've, uh, I've talked to people like stockbrokers about this who've said they've spent their lives talking to people on the telephone that they've never seen. And when by chance, some chance, they do encounter them, they get a terrific shock. Mm -hmm because they have had no image of them all these years and thought they knew them very well. The absence of image on the telephone is a great, big, positive potential of that medium that has never been tapped. It could be used for teaching mathematics to disadvantaged children and so on, uh, uh, to people who have no mathematical aptitude and so on. However, people don't study the media. They don't study the forms and their effects. They just study the uh, inputs what the man says in the television.